What's up folks, Jonathan here. Today I want to talk about overthinking. What is overthinking? Well, I'm an overthinker. And I'm not a psychiatrist, a psychologist, a shrink. But I've read some stuff online and I've talked to some people. And so this is my personal view of overthinking. So as an example, let's say you got, you're taking your kid to school, you drive them to school, you drop them off, and then you go and go to work or whatever. And then you come back and you pick your kid up after school. Well, for an overthinker, what happens is you drop your kid off at school and then you you instantly start thinking of are they gonna be okay what could happen is my phone on to make sure that they can contact me if they have a problem uh, I, you know I, I hope that they don't get hassled at school uh, anyways you know you just you start thinking of all these things because you worry about your kid and you, and you just, you can't get it out of your head. Um, it's, it can be debilitating. If, if you just, you're constantly thinking of situations, possible worst case scenarios, and then how you would handle it or what you're going to do if it happens. It's, it's, uh, it's excessive. And it takes up a lot of your brain time. And then, while you're coming up with these thoughts, you're going through all these emotions. You know, what would it feel like if this happened and that happened? And then you can get yourself all worked up and, and now you're freaking out over stuff that hasn't even happened, right? Well, there's a lot of people out there like me that do that. And it's not, it's not a good thing. It's not a healthy thing. Um, my anti-depression medication has helped with my ability to, when those things start happening in my head, I, I actually have more control now to either push them away or see them for what they are and not let it just overwhelm me. Um, another thing that I use to deal with it is I acknowledge to myself that I do this and it is not a healthy thing so just by knowing it realizing it, and accepting it it can put you in a mind frame to where uh, when it starts to happen you, you realize it, you acknowledge it and then you can start to deal with it in your head and just not let it just take you for a, an emotional ride um, I, I've just found that those individuals that have been through trauma um, been through horrible situations, I mean, real bad situations, tend to overthink. And why? Why do we overthink? Well, if you've been through terrible things and you've experienced terrible things, then you, you don't want to do that again. You don't want to feel that again. You don't want to go through that again. So your brain tells you in order to avoid anything like that in the future, you must be more aware. You must pay closer attention to things. You need to uh, distrust until you can trust it. Uh, you need to plan for bad things to happen with contingency plans. You need to, you know, if this happens, I'll do this. And if this happens, I'll do that. The problem is when you when you have that mentality, it's it can become way excessive and and can really mess with your head and it can ruin your day and it can really uh, you know there's it's a good thing to plan it's a good thing to look ahead it's a good thing to um, shore up things so it doesn't fall apart but when you dwell on the possibilities of things to the point that it gets you emotional and it messes with your head um, it's too much it's too much but it seems like the 
the the worse the the more terrible the things are to go through. Um, the worse this whole uh, dwelling, obsessing stuff in your head because you're just so gun shy. You're just you're like, oh crap, you know. I just I don't want this. I don't want that to happen. Um, you know, I, I read some articles about some uh, people that you know they're just horrified to take their kids to school because they're afraid of a school shooting and and they just obsess on it and dwell on it and it makes them crazy uh you know st statistically a school shooting is probably not going to happen in your school but you know the thought of that happening is is uh beyond um you know being able to handle emotionally it's just devastating so um some people, they're they're when they drop their kids off at school, they're they're like, and they freak out. But you know, you just you can't live that way. And and um, you know, whether it's stuff you went through as a kid or stuff you recently went through, it's still it, it has a permanent effect on your psyche. And it's very easy to uh, just feel how you feel and just go with it and and be miserable and you don't have to be that way it doesn't it doesn't have to uh, decide your your emotional state it's it's something that can be controlled but you just you have to be uh, mindful of it you have to recognize it when it happens and then treat it as like a, a dysfunction an illness and like I said, my antidepressant medication helps a lot. So, you know, if you're if you're in a similar mindset as those of us that have gone through horrible things, tough things, difficult things, traumas, loss, devastation, and and you just your your brain just races, um, thinking of things and 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 making sure it doesn't happen again and being afraid. Um, you know there there's there are ways to deal with it you're not alone so anyways i just i thought i'd throw that out there and um if you have any comments any questions any experiences you want to share put it in the comments below be glad to hear from you so hope you have a great day thanks for listening what do you think